This is not who is molded after a ground pangolin and tastes like chicken. After sprouting up in an arid environment in Africa, they saw a pangolin. They liked the creature so much that they mimicked its ears, scales, and muzzle. And no, there is no mouth on their muzzle. They have a shy and bubbly personality, alongside a dehydrated, raspy voice. This is Valerie, who is molded after a Dumbo octopus and tastes like citric acid. Their spore had grown near a zoo, and one day when they were almost about to sprout, the soil they were in had been taken and placed in a flower pot. The worker who had dug up the soil was bringing it to the insect enclosure, where they would use it for flowers and bugs who needed it. They had to pass through the aquatic area to get there. Along the way, Valerie sprouted just as they were passing near a tank with a Dumbo octopus inside. They loved it so much that they mimicked the tentacles and their things. They have a more sassy and energetic attitude, with a smooth, girly voice. Also, they mimic the Dumbo octopus mouth and eyes, but they aren't functional. This is Pick, or Pip, who is molded after a gray cat bird and tastes like a sweet plum. They sprouted up hitting their head on something. They had hit a tree root. They shook the tree a little bit, causing a clearly unstable bird's nest to fall down and next to them. There was a gray cat bird quivering inside, and Pick took a liking to the creature, mimicking its wings, beak, and tail feathers. The beak is not functional, and they have a serious and calming personality. But at the same time, they can be pretty silly and friendly, with a charming, sing-song voice, not as much as Valerie, unfortunately.